Hello everyone, welcome to this series on literary terms and theories. And in this video, we are going to discuss the term amphigory. Introduction Amphigory, derived from the Greek term meaning circle on both sides, refers to a type of burlesque or parody, specifically a form of nonsense verse that seemingly aims to make sense but ultimately does not. This video explores the characteristics, significance and impact of amphigory with a particular focus on Swinburne's Nephilidia as a prime example. Defining Amphigory Characteristics Amphigory is characterized by Nonsense verse Verses that play with language and structure, giving the illusion of meaning while ultimately lacking it. Burlesque and parody It often mocks or imitates other literary forms or genres in a humorous and exaggerated manner. Apparent coherence It appears to follow logical or narrative patterns but subverts expectations by ending in nonsensical conclusions. Historical context Amphigory has roots in various literary traditions that value playfulness and satire. Its form challenges conventional expectations of coherence and meaning, allowing poets to explore language's boundaries. Amphigory through Swinburne's Nephilidia A. G. Swinburne's Nephilidia is a notable example of amphigory. The poem's structure and language give the impression of profound meaning, yet it ultimately resolves into absurdity. Key features include Elaborate language Swinburne uses sophisticated diction and complex syntax, enhancing the poem's deceptive depth. Mock epic style The poem mimics the grandeur and style of epic poetry only to undercut it with nonsensical content. Phonetic playfulness The sounds and rhythms are crafted to delight the ear even if the words themselves are meaningless. Additional examples of amphigory Lewis Carroll's Jabberwocky Another example of amphigory is Lewis Carroll's Jabberwocky, a poem that uses invented words and seemingly coherent structure to create a fantastical and nonsensical narrative. Its playful language and rhythmic qualities make it a quintessential piece of nonsense verse that aligns with the principles of amphigory. Edward Lear's The Owl and the Pussycat Edward Lear's The Owl and the Pussycat is a whimsical poem that follows a coherent narrative structure but uses absurd and humorous elements to create a sense of playful nonsense. The poem's charm lies in its illogical yet captivating story, which embodies the spirit of amphigory. Impact and Significance Literary Value While amphigory might seem trivial due to its nonsensical nature, it holds significant literary value. Challenging Norms It pushes against the boundaries of traditional poetry, questioning the relationship between form and meaning. Highlighting Language Play It celebrates the playful and musical qualities of language, offering a fresh perspective on poetic expression. Reader Engagement Amphigory engages readers in unique ways. Expectation Subversion It sets up expectations of coherence and then subverts them, creating a humorous and thought-provoking experience. Active Interpretation Readers are invited to find meaning where there may be none, engaging them in the interpretive process. Role of Amphigory in Literature Comparing to other nonsense verse, Amphigory shares similarities with other forms of nonsense verse, 
such as the works of Lewis Carroll and Edward Lear. However, it distinguishes itself through its specific use of parody and burlesque, often targeting literary conventions and highbrow forms. Contribution to Literary Traditions Amphigury contributes to several literary traditions, satire and parody. By mocking literary forms, it aligns with traditions of satire and parody, providing social and literary critique. Avant-garde movements Its experimental nature resonates with avant-garde and modernist movements that value innovation and boundary pushing. Influence on Contemporary Poetry Amphigury's influence extends to contemporary poetry, encouraging poets to experiment with form. Modern poets continue to play with form and meaning, often blurring the lines between sense and nonsense. Embrace humor and play. The humorous and playful elements of amphigury are evident in various contemporary works, reflecting its lasting appeal. Conclusion Amphigury has an intricate blend of parody, nonsense and literary playfulness. Through the examples of Swinburne's Nephidalia, Lewis Carroll's Jabberwocky and Lear's The Owl and the Pussycat, we see how amphigury challenges conventional poetry, engaging readers in a unique and thought-provoking manner. Its significance in literary traditions and influence on contemporary poetry underscore its enduring value as a form that both entertains and critiques. Understanding amphigury deepens our appreciation for the versatility and richness of poetic expression. So this was the discussion on the term amphigury. We will meet in the next video and discuss some other term. Until then, goodbye and thank you.